pooped on the chair. So, so the funny. first week I said, Julie, I love you. And she says, well, what's love? So we went and then I started bleeding over there and going into preterm labor. Hey, girl, the girls, we're going to go swimming with your cousin Kennedy. Oh. You excited, Kennedy? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get Clap your hands. Clap your hands with your papa. <laughs> it's okay. It's over here, guys. Have you ever tasted poo before? <laughs> Watch this, guys. Just having a date in Idaho, and it's uh, we're gonna go to the concert in the park where Dean, my stepfather, and my mother Julie met at this park, and it's a patriotic, patriotic Emily, patriotic music, and we're gonna take the kids and we get a play, and me and my brother just snuck away to Walmart to get some little gifts for Juju. I'll show you, not gifts. I already gave her my gift, but. So Gigi's real birthday is tomorrow. I know we've celebrated it a couple times on the vlog. I hope that isn't too uh, <laughs> obnoxious. But this is gonna be the family party. My sister's flying in. Hopefully she's gonna fly on standby on a buddy pass tomorrow from Seattle. She's pregnant with her first child and she's gonna come in tomorrow. And then we're all gonna um, celebrate Juju with a little family party and we're gonna do a really special cake. And last year we did a little figurines on her cake and so she got a bunch of these little figurines for her cake and she's gonna lose her mind. It's gonna be awesome. Like I got some little things. It's gonna be so fun. So stay tuned tomorrow for that. You're up there a hundred yards. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Good, I'm Mayor gonna step Pumchel. on your blanket. Okay. I apologize no, for thank that. You. No thanks. No thanks? Oh, we better get some for Casey. It's delicious. Aww. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> okay, Lou. <laughs> All right, you guys have to tell me again for your posterity. What? 11 years ago, what 11 was... 11 years ago. A friend called both of us that day and asked us if we'd like to meet each other, and we both were a little reluctant. I came a little fashionably late, and I was a little nervous approaching tell them. The part about <laughs> Dean. What did you wear, Dean? 
pair of holy Levi's and a wrinkled white shirt. <laughs> Cotton shirt. And you said on purpose. On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want her having too many expectations. Well, this is what you get. Here's my pack. And I have, and it's been the same ever since. <laughs> He's probably the same old white shirts in your closet. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, but funny. we, I came up with the two. I says, "Well, I'm bringing my boys," and she says, "That's fine." So I. Dean says I put them down in front of him like, here's my package, take it or leave it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you got was... set up by Kathy Chase, is that mm -hmm. right? A mutual, a mutual friend. friend. I knew her as a nurse. Dean went to high school with her. And, and, and uh, she was one of Lori's best friends in high school. Your wife, your ex, yeah. or your First wife. wife who passed away. And so we, um, he was in love at first sight, right honey? <laughs> For me, for you. You love me for a sight. Oh yeah, they had a whirlwind, whirlwind romance. So, so the funny. first week I said, Julie, I love you. And she says, well, what's love? Yeah. What is love? I know he sincerely <laughs> said, what's, I love you. And I, I just came back with, well, what's love? No, you said it very sarcastically. I said, what's, what's love? love? <laughs> I can see you being very skeptical of love professed after a week. Yeah. But he stayed true. Eleven years later, He's he still never telling changed. Me. <laughs> He's still telling me, and I keep saying, "What's that one?" <laughs> and how long had you been single at that point? Because I tell this story to other flight attendants I know. Um, it was at that point. It was about seven and a half years. I'll say, don't lose hope. My mom was single for a while. She'd almost given up. Yeah. And then she well, found a perfect had, guy. Pretty much um, was ready to just, you know, be single. But Mama, he, what? He took his motorcycle yeah. out to his parents, which right before that he had told me he wasn't going to get married for a long time Mama. and that he was uh, going to marry someone without kids. He had all these rules and then he drove out there and said, I'm in love. <laughs> they were like, well, what happened between last week and this week? <laughs> and then I met all the family the next week. And oh, my. Just... I'm still... You're never going to be younger or prettier or nothing than you are today. None of us are. That's why I'm capturing all this. Someday y'all all thank me. Never had gum before, but she's almost five. So, you get it. Try and learn how to use bubble gum and teach Fifi. Can I trust bubble you? Bubblegum, bubblegum, in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? <laughs> oh, sweet girl. How exciting. <laughs> You're scared to use it? <laughs> I have to swallow it. No, you don't swallow it. You just chew it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Kennedy teaching things right and left. Did you swallow it? No. Uh -uh. Sure. Well, there's another little story. I was right behind these bushes once with a boy and got <laughs> <laughs> and got caught by the police. <laughs> no, just here in the middle of the night. <laughs> Hello, Remy. Look who. No chicken. No chicken. Oh, oh. I think that looks like something that would be up your alley. <laughs> Just talked to Alex at the restaurant. I'm feeling bad about him. I miss so much. Beastie boy. Beastie boy. Beastie You're our beastie boy. <laughs> Whoa. Uh. We're back and they just went on a four-wheeling ride. It's amazing weather. Oh, nights like this, you know, where you're just <sighs> enjoying life, feeling good, happy to be alive. Good stuff. Just feeling a little nostalgic. You know, when, five years ago I was in the hospital, scared out of my mind about to become a mom, having lots of complications with Juju's birth. 
Um, I went to France in my third, I can't remember if I've told this story before. I went to France in my 35th week for Alex's best friend's wedding. I'm a f I know, I know, it's insane to do such a thing. But I'd been talking to my doctor all along and trying to look for my daughters. Um, I'd been looking for, or I'd been talking to my doctor all along and she was kind of a kook and she thought it was fine. So we went and then I started bleeding over there and going into preterm labor. I had what they thought was, um, oh I forget the name, but some complication that happens with flight attendants a lot of the tearing of the placenta. Anyways, long story short, we barely made it back into the States. Uh, we shouldn't have probably come back. Everybody cautioned us not to do that. But we wanted to get back in the US because even if I would have had Juju over there, it would have been a mess and I would have uh, had to stay over there for six weeks to get citizenship for her and just wouldn't have been a good thing because they don't just let you come back in the country with a baby born abroad, even if you are American. So anyways, so I was happy to be back in the States after that crazy experience, but I had her at 37 weeks and I was in and out of the hospital. Um, I think I was only out of the hospital like two days since I got, I got back from the trip and uh, yeah, there I was scared and nervous and just not knowing what to think about it and oh, the next day was the best day of my life, five years ago, best day of my life, so I'm a little like whoa, can't believe that was five years ago. Whew. All right, I'm gonna find these kids, put them to bed. Thanks for watching, kind of a threw it together. Good day. Tomorrow's gonna be awesome.